Rancho Palos Verdes is continuing their efforts to design a new civic center. The Civic Center Advisory Committee and over 100 residents came out for a tour of the property at City Hall. A workshop followed at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. The biggest thing that I take away from this workshop is that a lot of people from the community care about what goes around and what's built in their community. And I think having these workshops and making sure that we get input from them is so important going forward because we don't want to create something that they don't want. I think the public now is getting re-engaged with this project and, um, and I think we're going to bring in a whole new segment of the public now in this current environment that's going to really benefit the overall outcome. As a member of the community to see that what we have is being done in a way that's respectful to our community, respects the history and respects the use of this property. To make sure that what we build is functional, to make sure that what we build uh, integrates the history of the site, to make something that's truly usable, uh, that has proper access for everybody, that is uh, a, a, a real positive for the community. We don't want it to look too commercialized, you know, or even maybe too modern, if you know what I mean, because part of the charm of our community is that, you know, it, it feels in a sense like we're connected to the land in a way, and I don't think we want to lose that. Like any new development, we have to take into consideration working with the land and working with the local residents and what's best for the community. And reworking the land and modernizing it with respect to the old history would be really wonderful. If anyone sees this and is intrigued, please come to the meetings and participate either in person, electronically, any, any way. We have lots of different modes of gathering input and I would highly encourage that. Stay tuned as we will bring you all of the exciting developments on the new Civic Center.